they're piling up the concrete in this one northwest corner over here because that has to go in a different load to a different destination. The landfill doesn't take that. I don't know what they do with it, but it's not going to the landfill. All this other stuff is going to the landfill. So it's five miles away to one destination for all this demolition wood and glass and crap. And this, the foundation and all the concrete blocks goes to five miles north of here somewhere is where they're taking it. That's what Casey said. Now this truck is going to back up here and hook onto that that big cargo carrier, and then he's going to take that out to the dump, and then he'll be back another way. Oh, they got another box sitting here. wind is still blowing away from me, so that's good. I sure hope that first floor holds. It's an awful big machine if it would crunch down in there. I don't know how it's not crunching in there because He's on the, not, he's not on the foundation, he's on the first floor with that thing. This is interesting. Can't get much closer than this. There's about, I don't know, four feet in front of me to my lot line, maybe. No, that's about six feet, I guess. I feed some of you. The ground just shakes when those big hunks of concrete hit. My house was shaking a while ago. Every time one of those lands.
Like that thing, thing is taking a big bite out of a sandwich. Holy moly. Look at that. smell of the earth, dirt is quite prevalent. That actually smells good. Well, I hard to believe the house was here just a couple hours ago. Amazing what a big machinery like that can do to a place. They're never going to do that to my property or my house, my buildings. Not a chance. Strings of carpet.
Quite a system. <laughs> what I want to keep reminding the viewers of is that. Hospital former CEO Carl Vognes never promised me that this house would always stand. But what he did promise me in 2006 is that as long as I own my property, the space here that they're clearing would never be anything but a green space. He gave me that word, okay? That was in 2006 when they put on a $2 million expansion of the hospital right there. The front part of that was added on. And then in 2014, new CEO, Carl, uh, me, Lee Boyles came in and now with this upcoming merger that may be finalized by the end of this year, if the Attorney General in California allows this merger between Dignity Health of California to go through with CHI, which will make that merger then makes the entity the largest nonprofit healthcare system in the country if that merger goes through. And that's called monopolization, folks. It shouldn't be legal to do that. And so, anyway, with that merger, now the hospital has got money to expand. They have been struggling financially for quite a while. And So Lee Boyles said, well, he couldn't answer for what Caravaglis had said, but that they were within their legal rights to put a parking lot in here. So my advice is don't trust this entity, CHI, Dignity, Mer whatever they're going to call themselves. They'll have a new name after they merge. I wouldn't trust them. An agreement is an agreement. In Minnesota, verbal agreements are legal. That may be in every state, but I know for sure it is here. When I asked to get it in writing, Carl Wagner refused, now I know why. But in the same meeting, out of the other side of his mouth, he asked me if I would be willing to sign a, give them, give them a first right of release on my property were I ever to go to sell it. I said, absolutely not. 